Now, as we discussed earlier, the Australian National University is now investigating an incident that allegedly occurred at one of the student AGM meetings last night. In the meeting, one student appears to be seen performing the Nazi salute. You can see it there now. And in another, a student appears to impersonate a Hitler moustache. Now, this is highly concerning. As I spoke about at the start of the show, we've put questions to ANU about this today. They say they're investigating it and will take swift action if it's proved. Now, the ANU student and Australasian Union of Jewish Students ACT co-president, Maya Grinberg, was at that meeting. She was part of it and she joins me now. Maya, thank you so much for your time and for your courage in coming on the show and speaking out uh, because it has not been a safe place at ANU for Jewish students. Can you tell us some about what you've been facing on campus? Hi, Shari. Thank you for having me. So on campus over the past six months, the situation at ANU and across universities in Australia has just been getting progressively worse and worse. Last Monday, um, Students for Justice Palestine in Canberra uh, started an encampment at the Australian National University, right in the centre of the university. So on Canberra lawns, where on one side you have a, a massive building where they have classes every single day. There are lots of teaching rooms in there. On the other side, you have a student accommodation and all around you have cafes. On the lawns right there, they've started an encampment where every single day they protest and they call for the support of Hamas and they and the end to Israel. I mean, it's just such a hard environment to be in. But, you know, last night, I understand that it escalated. What happened on that student uh, Zoom meeting? And I understand that you were actually putting forward motions about the rise in anti-Semitism and about protecting Jewish students on campus. Yes. So last night, we had the ANU Students Association's AGM. And in that AGM, our secretary, Jazz, put forward a motion which was um, about students, Jewish students feeling the right to belong at university. Um, and the, the motion included um, condemning Hamas, it included the progressive notions of a two-state solution, and it included um, practical ways to make Jewish students feel welcome and safe on campus. And unfortunately, this, this motion was completely torn apart and it was, it was left in a state which Jewish students could no longer um, support the motion. It's unbelievable. I mean, I saw, I read today what, you know, what happened. I read um, the minutes of the meeting and how all those points were struck out. Uh, you know, they want a one-state solution, it seems. It, it's, it's completely bizarre. But then what happened with these students uh, allegedly, you know, what appears to be doing the Nazi salute and, and, you know, one of the other students, as we saw there, they appeared to have... Um, their finger as a moustache in a reference to Hitler. Can, can you tell us about how that unfolded? It's, it's actually quite shocking to have witnessed that last night. Um, so as, as we were presenting our motion um, and there, were, there was an amendment to the motion which essentially stripped down the motion to just include the phrases Jewish students should feel safe on campus, um, it, it took away the part that condemns Hamas, including in that. And as um, as as this debate was going on, there were there were individuals who were on the Zoom call who were making these motions, which seem very clear to myself. However, of course, they have to have to be investigated. And the Jewish students were watching this and were absolutely shocked and terrified that this could be going on within their own university. And it just it really speaks to me about how. As, as a society, we really have to look into Holocaust education and mm. understand how these university students who are seeking tertiary degrees, how they can be so ignorant as to, as to threaten us in this way. So well said. And, you know, it shows that this isn't about the Palestinian cause. This is about Jewish people and, and not wanting... Jewish people to even be on campus or, or exist. Now, I understand you've written a letter to the Vice Chancellor. Um, what did you write about and have you received any support? Yes, so um, throughout the past six months, uh, we started writing letters during um, October, after October 7th, 
occurred, um, the tragedy of it all really impacted on students. And we have since, um, as Audrey's um, members as well, they've written letters to the vice chancellor. And they've, these letters have always been delegated down and, and someone, some staff member in the university has been assigned to talk to us. And whilst they've been useful, we would really appreciate the opportunity to talk to the vice chancellor. Unfortunately, we haven't been given that opportunity and we haven't heard directly from the vice chancellor. But we're getting to the point now where real action has to be taken by mm. the senior leadership at the university because students don't feel safe. They don't mm. feel that they can go to class mm. without, without the risk of being harassed or being targeted for their, for their mm. culture and their identity. Mm -mm. Maya, how old are you? I'm 20 years old. I feel so sad that you as a 20 year old are on the front line of this anti-Semitism crisis that we're all facing in Australia, but that you and your friends and, and, and you know, your colleagues, the young Australians right around the country have to deal with this day in, day out. It's not good enough. The chancellors, the vice chancellors, our political leaders need to be stronger. Um, I'm sure everyone watching this tonight would be thinking how incredibly articulate you are. Thank you for coming on the show. Um, amazing bravery and courage. And I really hope you don't have, you have, don't have to deal with harassment as a result of speaking publicly and coming on Sky News. Maya Grinberg, thank you very much.